So it's amazing how you can get so stuck in these situations. And it's a reoccurring theme that I've experienced and I see a lot in the comments and the emails I get. And that's where you're just trapped, stuck in this mode. You're, you're trapped, stuck thinking about your ex and ruminating about everything that's happened. And it's really tough. <clears throat> and it, you know, I mean, after all this time, I mean, I'm, what, six years into this, and I'm doing really good. I mean, things are going really good. And, you know, for the most part, I don't get stuck in those modes. But I can think back, and I can remember what I was going through during the really tough times on this. And during that time, it felt so devastating and nearly impossible to get through that I, I wasn't sure how I was gonna make it through this. Now, it, it's interesting because sometimes I don't remember how I got from point A to point B. And, and what I mean is, it's like, okay, so you know, there was a period of time where I felt horrible and I felt completely lost, and now I'm where I'm at, I'm at today. And I don't feel completely horrible and I don't feel completely lost, but there is a process to go from that point to this point. And it wasn't easy. It was not an easy process. And I don't want people to get scared off by that, thinking that, oh my God, this is, I'm going to be stuck in this mess for years or a really long time, which could potentially be years. But I want you to think more about the fact that you know, here's somebody, if you're looking at me, who was in that exact same spot, who didn't feel like they were ever going to be able to, to move past this. And you can. Now, the idea of being completely stuck in this mode forever is pretty damn devastating. And if you're looking at that and you're looking how you're feeling and then you're looking at the, the, the actual real world problems you're dealing with above and beyond the emotional side, it can feel completely overwhelming and rightfully so. Whenever you're in a situation where everything is, is terrible or everything you perceive is terrible, it makes it really tough to, to keep pressing on. And I mean, that is absolutely understandable. But the thing is, is that this doesn't last forever. You don't stay in this mode forever. You, you learn how to deal with these situations. You learn how to deal with these people. You learn how to control your own emotions. You learn how to put things in perspective. And, and honestly, the biggest part of this is perspective. It's, it's changing your perspective. I've seen this so much with people throughout my life where, and I'll give you an example in the military. When I was in, in the service, this is a lesson I learned early on in life. And it does relate to this as well. And, and that is, is every time I ran into somebody and they verbalized out loud that whatever was the worst, typically it would be you know, oh my God, this supervisor is the worst supervisor I've ever had. And it seemed like to a T, the next one was worse. It was like the universe saying, oh really? Really? You think that's bad? Well, why don't you try this on? And I've seen people go through this iteration to where they make those comments, right? Like this is the worst, and this assignment's the worst, this, you know, whatever, this base is the worst. And they always generally, when you're bringing that to you, it's like the, the universe is saying, okay, all right, buddy, you think this is bad? Well, let me show you something new. Here's my point, and here's what I'm trying to get at with this, and that is, it's all about perspective, right? I was talking with, uh, I was talking actually with my son about this, and you know, he was complaining about uh, his disability and, and different things, and I'm like, you know, because he, he's not sure if he can drive and he hasn't tried to, uh, to go down that route. And he may not be able to. And, and I was just saying to him, 
try it. You don't know. You're sitting here complaining about this, but things could be different. I'm like, dude, you could be paralyzed. You could have no motor skills at all. You could be relegated to a wheelchair. You, I mean, it's like you can move. Yeah, it's not the way you want, but it could be worse. You know, it's like at what point are you grateful for, for where you are and embrace that so that you can move forward? And, and what I will tell you guys is that everyone I've seen who has done that and they've changed their perspective into a more positive realm, and I hope you can hear me over the plane, it's like th it, it, things start to get better. I mean, it's like if you're focusing on the negative, things go down the negative. If you're focusing on the positive, doesn't mean it's gonna be, you know, bowl full of rainbows, but things tend to go better. And, and that was really, I think, the key for me in my situation, it was changing my perspective. It was finally getting to the point where I'm like, you know what, I'm sick of thinking about the ex. I'm sick of her being in my head. I'm sick of just being trapped in this and being angry and bitter and, and ruminating about everything I've lost. I'm sick of it. And it took me a couple of years to get to that point. That was not something that happened overnight. It was a slow process. But here's the thing. As soon as I started to get to that point, as soon as that happened, things started to get better. And then the shenanigans that she would do, it, it was a lot less. It, it, the impact of it was less. Now, now here's the thing. You are not going to be able to wake up today and say, you know what, I'm changing my perspective and everything is going to be just peachy keen. It doesn't work like that. You can start making efforts towards that and start basically reprogramming your mind and it cha uh, fundamentally changes everything. And I would encourage you to think about that. I would encourage you to, to, to take a pause, step back, not say that you have to do it today, but think about long-term, about that's where you're heading. That's kind of really the goal of, if you, in my mindset for narcissistic abuse recovery playlist, where all those videos are feeding in on that, right? All of those videos are helping to change your perspective, to change the way you're interacting with everything going on around you, to be able to break free from that cycle, to be able to stop this nonsense. Speaking of stopping, there's a bunch of airplanes taking off, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Want, love to hear what you have to think about this, maybe how this is helping you, or maybe you're struggling with it. Leave that in the comment below. Um, if There'll be some other videos on the cards over here. One's recommended for you from YouTube. The other one is the Mindset for Narcissistic Abuse playlist. If you haven't seen that, check that out. And uh, I'll chat with you on the next video. Take care, bye.